okay so let what we will do now again we'll go back to the system we'll go to our permissions room so i'll go to admin center go to set user permissions so i'm going to my demo room go to permission so here we have something called employee central effective data identity so here we have the personal information so we are newly added the second uh, second nationality see that is available here however we don't have the permission so that is the reason i cannot see if you give only the view permission i can see in this screen as well as the when i go to the clock symbol here also i can see that field okay and uh, if i want to insert i need i need to correct i will explain each and everything what is the edit insert correct but this is not the right time and if i want to delete click on delete click on save so now re refresh the screen so we are able to see and we are able to edit the fit so i am going to uh, personal information okay so here we already got by default second nationality okay so when you, when, you, when you click on edit mode so click on more symbol uh, click on more so here okay, here itself we have the second nationality okay so and also we can see the drop down value because this is the standard field so that is the reason we are able to see all the list of countries so let me add another one custom field here so i will make it as a make correction so i will add let me analyze what are the fields used here custom uh, one two three five six seven eight nine ten so let me use the custom string 13 now custom string 13 so i will put it as a demo you can give any name so i am doing the recording here that is the reason no everywhere i am mentioning the demo so i will make it as an enable i will make it as a mandatory ok so i will put it as uh, allow import equal to no here i will explain later and whether it is a, a edit field or view field keep it so let me click on done click on save so you will get some uh, confirm message message so as field custom sync is a mandatory in the personal information this field will be also be added in the same attribution the personal uh, name for candidate as a field custom is a mandatory in the person this will also be added in the the same attribute so don't worry just click on yes so what is the second step so remember for all the effective data portlet so we should have the permissions so let me go back to demo once again click on permission click on apply central effective data so if you go bottom a little bit i have the demo one so click on uh, other thing you you history edit insert and delete click on done click on save changes so now you refresh the screen go to personal information uh, click on show more so we got uh, our newly added field ok so in the next video so we will make this is as a uh, pick list so I will show how to add the pick list into the respective fields and uh, how we, I will show how we can uh, do the uh, in technically we are calling calling as a uh, cascading pick list so that also I will show it and also we are discussing more on 
of portrait some more in the next video so the thanks for watching